and welcome to our YouTube channel. Thank you so dearly for always supporting us. I really do appreciate. If this is the first time you are coming across this wonderful family, or you are seeing my face for the first time, I still remain Agatha Progress, bringing it to you back to back. Remember, we react to our videos and our opinion is highly needed. So just sit back and watch this video, and I will be right back. France mandate. So I have the mandate of over 70 million Biafrans. And any day I go contrary to this mandate, Biafrans will also deal with me. Any day, any day I behave and deviate from the course of Biafra's struggle, Biafra will deal with me, both in the spirit and physical. That day I will lose everything. Any day I will go against Biafra because we are people that has been prepared for this particular moment we are. The more you wait for Simon Epa to work for Nigeria government, the more disappointment you will become. The more you wait Simon Epa to work for Nigeria government, the more disappointment await you. The more you wait for, uh, the more you threaten Simon Epa with all manner of frivolous uh, threat and all that, the more you will get disappointment. The more you connive to blackmail Simon Epa, the more you will get disappointment. So, Saludo, some people warned you that that part you want to take will be very, very dangerous. That you shouldn't take that part. They deceived you into, into uh, summoning courage to come and publicly condemn, sit at home. Let me tell you today, Soludo, the Monday sit at home is not the only civil disobedience that we are going to implement and we are unanimously implementing and going to adopt for Mazinam Dikanos as uh, uh, unconditional release and freedom of Biafra. More are to come. And let me tell you, Soludo and uh, those who support him in Anambra State, we are in autopiloted seat at home and autopiloted civil disobedience. No man born of a woman will stop this movement for freedom of mass in Amdikan. So if you want to talk about stopping the seat at home, focus in Abuja. And let me tell you, when you get used to the seat at home, like uh, we are noticing that other governors in other states are getting used to it, they are no longer complaining. Uh, they are getting used to it. The only thing is that they continue to lose the integrity, the territorial integrity. They continue to lose faith. The caliphate continue to lose faith and trust in them. That part we are winning very, very strongly. So when we see that uh, all of you are now comfortable with this Monday seat at home, we are going to, you know, and of course, simultaneously tightening the other side of it. You see, sometimes they say delay is dangerous. That is always saying that delay is dangerous. Some of you do not know how to apply this word. Delay is dangerous. They say delay is dangerous. Tell Soludo that probably he have learned his lesson. And of course, if he want to give Biafran a try, he should again try something this coming Monday. We are aware that Soludo is planning to have environmental sanitation in Anambra State. We are not against environmental sanitation. We are not against anything like that. But if you are having environmental sanitation, make sure that on, on uh, Monday, because uh, we are told that you start uh, three days uh, environmental sanitation in Anambra State, make sure that whatever you are planning or whatever your scheme is, that that environmental sanitation is not uh, targeted at uh, making uh, you know the workers going to work on Monday. Okay, <laughs> people can sit at home on Monday and clean their environment. Tuesday you can continue your normal environmental sanitation where people can work and clean their places. But you see that Monday, whatever whatever sanitation you are putting on Monday, people must sit in their homes and clean their environment in their homes. Why sitting at home? They clean their environment. We do not want to see anywhere in Biafra land where you will be saying the government is doing this and doing that. That Monday is a holy day and we have dedicated it for Biafra, for people that died, millions of Biafrans that died. And the only person that will stop it, even when he have already given order from the DSS dungeon, according to them, which we are not believing, is Mazin Namdikan. Once he is released, he is going to be the only one that will stop me. I will go off the air and rest for a while before I will join him back. So if you want that the seat at home and the other very stringent, uh, you know, uh, civil disobedience that is coming, coming very soon, 
if you don't want it, we want to see Mazin and Nikanu treated like other Nigerians. Other Nigerians who commit serious crimes. Mazin and Nikanu have not committed any crime. What he was doing is what every other person has done all over the world to get the freedom and agitate for a better society for his people. So I don't know how that become a crime. But of course, we see that the Fulani terrorists being sponsored by the Nigerian government are everywhere with uh, machine guns and even bombs and all that. Nobody is holding these people, you know, accountable for anything. Not the security. By now, after the carnage that we have seen within a few days, if Nigeria is not sponsoring terrorism, if Nigeria is not sponsoring the ethnic cleansing, by now, every security chief in Nigeria ought to have resigned. But we will not see them resign. If they resign, it means that it means that uh, they are not the ones sponsoring it. So they have to be in power. Even when it has proven that they are complicit, they will never resign. They have to be there to make sure they protect the interests of the terrorists. But Mazinam Dikano, who is using make a, make microphone to preach the need for freedom, so that you will have a better country to live. They planned to go to Kenya, use private jet, kidnap him, torture him, brought him back to Nigeria, blindfolded him, and he's still facing torture. So, Saludo, if you want to talk about why sit at home should stop in Biafra land, go and start solving the problem. We know that uh, you said you are going to look into the release of Mazinam Dikan. We have had all that. <laughs> we are, we, you know, I want you to understand that you've made the greatest mistake in your life. The greatest mistake in your life you've made is that you choose the wrong people to advise you, those who do not understand what is going on in the movement of Biafra Restoration. Biafra Restoration is no longer in the hand of those that you discuss with. They have nothing, absolutely nothing to do with it anymore. So there are those living, in, and today, if you have not learned your lesson, then you are not who we think you are. So the issue of insecurity, terrorism, that the federal government of Nigeria sponsoring the Fulani is what we are going to address this evening. And like you all know, our demand for this sit at home to stop is very simple. The sit at home is an autopilot. And we have made it very clear. If you want sit at home to stop, you release unconditionally Mazinam Dikano, just like you are releasing criminals. Mazinam Dikano is not a criminal, but you release criminal. You give criminals a preferential treatment in Nigeria, but somebody who is fighting for freedom, you abduct him, you kidnapped him, and illegally presented this person to court. I want to also remind the friends today, when they say delay is dangerous, is that is exactly what is happening now. You know, the people in America, the they were working tirelessly to make sure that Mazinam Bikano is released. You have the BWGG, Allen White. You have also Bruce Fenn. And every, many people that are working differently in different ways, in their own, in their own ways, to see the release of Mazinam Bikano. And of course, to defend the entire indigenous people of Biafra, IBOB, under the leadership of Mazinam Bikano. What did we get? What did we get? Nobody want to have anything to deal with these people because uh, they say, you know, they think that uh, you can see, I don't need to go, you know, deeper because uh, we have passed that stage. But uh, you see that now, after they have delayed Bruce Fenn, Bruce Fenn were in Nigeria for almost five good times. They couldn't allow him to see Mazin Amdikan. They couldn't allow him to see Mazin Amdikan. And some people boasted on social media how he will never see Mazin Amdikan, how they will never allow him to see Mazin Amdikan. They gave them information, they came to social media and slander Bruce Venn and they made programs on Bruce Venn, all of them. Now, something you people don't know is that delay is dangerous. A lot of things that Bruce Venn ought to have done for Mazin Amdikan and IPUB, these people destroyed it. They destroyed it. So some of you that are coming now and start shouting, oh, we are happy, we are happy. What are you happy about? Uh, they are going to start in square one, right? You are happy that, you know, his own impact is going to start in square one. Do you know that Alan White 
the BWGG group is still there. Do you know that the BWGG brought one of the best international attorney specialized in extraordinary edition from the United Kingdom? Do you know that those who say they are fighting for Mazin and the Kano, just what they did to Bruce Penn, they never wanted this BWGG to even do anything, but they continue to press the button in their own ways. Today, after eight months, after nine months, somebody have come to say, our leaders still say Bruce Fenn is back of us. Do you know what they have destroyed? Do you know what they have done? Do you know the actions of sabotaging and blackmailing Bruce Fenn, what it has done, the damages it has done? You don't know. And let me tell you, you can never take the clock, the hand of the clock backward. Never. So if all of a sudden you are now coming to praise that, oh, we are vindicated, Simon Ekba is vindicated. Vindicated what? What am I going to do with vindication? I have told Biafran several times, I am not interested in anybody vindicating me. I am not interested because it doesn't add anything to me. It doesn't add value to me. Vindicated. Yes, Simon Ekba has been vindicated. After vindication, so what? But you know what? They have wasted and delayed, and it was dangerous. So what Bruce Fenn was doing was almost destroyed. Almost. Every day we came to shout about Bruce Fenn. Every day we came, we, you know, we shout, we hosted Bruce Fenn. We explained to people, Madam Bridget and her group, they were working with Bruce Fenn. Every day Bruce Fenn went to Nigeria. And what did these people do to blackmail him? Abateke, now Bruce Fenn is Abateke and all that. Today, the same people that boasted they will never allow Bruce Fenn to see Mazin and the Kano are the same people now making posts. They are the same people now making updates, telling you Bruce Fenn, hey, telling you Bruce Fenn is now, uh, 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 still say Bruce Fenn is still part of the team, and then we are going to work. We are going to work with him. Shameless people, when they have actually destroyed a lot of things, it was because of these people that made Bruce Fenn to miss a lot of schedules. The same thing is happening to the BWGG. And the point is that nobody, this thing is not going to remove anything from anybody. What does it take away from them? For Bruce Fenn to go to meet Mazin what does it what, what does it remove from it from this? It doesn't remove anything. What does it what does it remove from anybody that the BWGG Hired one of who are still the representative of Mazin and the Kano, hired one of the best lawyers from the United Kingdom who specializes in this kind of cases. They have never allowed this man to come there. <laughs> from one story to another. It took them seven, eight months to come and talk on Bruce Fenn. So we are going to wait to know how many months it is going to talk, take them or how many years before BWGG will come into the picture. All these things will add to what we are doing. It is never going to jeopardize or remove anything. Rather, it is going to be a plus. So what is the problem of these people? These are people are doing everything with the Nigeria politicians, claiming they are in charge of this, they are in charge of that. They, are so, they, they have canceled, sit at home, they have done that. These are people that we have actually expelled from this movement. And we are not talking about them again. I'm just making this reference because of the issue of Bruce Fenn. And I am again reminding dear friends that Bruce Fenn, in addition, there is still BWGT who have, on behalf of Mazin Namdi Kano, hired one of the best lawyer from the United Kingdom to fight this thing. And you see that the other day I was, uh, I was uh, you know, telling, telling the legal team to file application here, file application there, do this, do that. Of course, all those things are also part of the game. And if you listen to the other update, they were also discussing about possible filing, uh, you know, possibly filing new application against Nigeria government. Now, I have also come to advise the so-called the senators and the representative from the Southeast that since they have what they call the Southeast Caucus, the Southeast Caucus of the National Assembly Caucus or whatever they call them, they should, you know, write to international community, they should write to the Commonwealth Office they should write to the Queen of England. They should write to the, to the House of Lords. 
they should write to prime minister of uh, England, they should write to different powers of this world, call their attention that what Nigeria has done, even though we know that some of these kind of things, some people may not pay attention to it. But let the attention of these people be drawn so that it will be on record that some people, representative, officially wrote and seek attention of certain people to look into what the impunity that the Nigeria government are doing against Biafra people. But of course, that advice, they saw it, they listened to it, they heard me. So the question now is that somebody like Ike Kurimado, who is probably the leader of the Kakos of the Southeast Kakos, whatever they call themselves, you will not see them right. You will not see them talk. Okay, let us, let us even say that. Okay, now, the Southeast governors, now they have seen that there are insecurities everywhere. Nobody knows where this insecurity is coming from. Nobody knows who is responsible. But we are telling them that it is not, may be not unconnected to Biafra. The insecurity may also be connected to Biafra. So why don't you now look for a solution, which is, first of all, making sure that Mazin Abdikaro come out to speak. And if after he come out, to speak and this particular insecurity and this is at home continues, then you can decide to know what to do. But if you really look for the solution, you know that the Biafra people have cried out and it is time you have pushed them to the wall and they are pushing you back. That is why the burning of villages and communities by the military, when Dr. Malafia said it, some of you did not listen to it. My word. That brings us to the end of this beautiful update. Do wait to like this video, share and subscribe. The best thing for you to do is to join this family by smashing on that red subscribe button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more latest updates. See you when I see you. From me to you, I say bye.